Look at this. The gold star next to Champion's Road. That means I have completed it with every single character. So that means I have a way to beat Champion's Road without luck. Let me show you it. You will first want to have a Tanuki suit. World 5-5 offers two Tanuki leaves, one in the beginning and one through the halfway point. It is a short and sweet level, and if you know how to play it, it shouldn't be a problem. Grab the Tanuki suit and get out of there. Now you're going to want a Lucky Bell. Now while Mushroom Dash 2, Flower Dash 1, Flower Dash 2, they all contain Lucky Bells and a few others, my recommendation is Flower Dash 9. It is a short level, actually 100 seconds, and offers one Lucky Bell, which you will need. Beat the level and carry the Lucky Bell without getting damaged. As you see here, I'm using the statue ability from the Lucky Bell to automatically defeat any enemy from the pack. The Goombas will chase you regardless of your invincibility or not, and it's a quick and easy clear. Now that you have the Leaf and Lucky Bell, it's time to take on Champion's Road. This method works with any character. Luigi and Peach seem to be a little easier to play this level as, but anyone works perfectly fine. I'm using Mario for this one. You will want to first switch into the Tanuki suit. This area has more platforming and high jumps that you'll need to pass. The Tanuki suit is the better option here. It allows you to make quicker jumps, saves you some time, and for the later sections, it lets you avoid those charging chucks. That's all I have to give you for this section of the level. You want to let Mario play the rest of it so you can experience it for yourself. Now you're out of the box and onto section number two. Run around, get some speed, and use the Snoopy suit to get yourself up high. You want to go through those first three bar sections pretty fast because they switch in a second. Then use the Snoopy suit to judge your timing and fall down at the right time so the blocks are solid when you land on them. This section is a little bit trickier. You have to climb two stairs in one second, except you don't. Do what Tanuki Mario does, and use the tail to I love it to yourself in the air. Now we have Magic Koopas. Use your tail and take them out. If you get hit, that's totally fine. Just restart the level. It's best to keep your Tanuki suit for later. Now you'll want to switch to the Lucky Bell. This section intends for you to use a Piranha Plant to jump over these spike bars to jump up those fuzzies. However, both Spike Fires and Fuzzies alike, the Lucky Cat Mario is a total beatdown. Well, by that I mean the Spike Bars and Fuzzies are in a match for Lucky Cat Mario. Just ground pound and destroy anything problem. Spike Bar, not a problem. Kill. You can also use the Lucky Cat to clear down Fuzzies that get in your way. For instance, in this example, you have to cross a Spike Bar while dealing with all these Fuzzies. Now that's they are an obstacle without the Piranha Plant. Just kill the Spuzzies with the Lucky Cat, and boom, you're good to go. Kill as many as you like. Kill all of them for all I care. Make yourself comfortable. Now the final section is only to cross some platforms with some spike bars. Doesn't matter I lost the Lucky Cat right now, we don't really have much use for it anymore. If any of the Horned Ant Troopers are bothering you, just ground pound them and they're no longer a problem. That's what I'm doing here. Oh, it seems I have died. If you die, go to home menu and press the game. It's much faster than getting the power-ups again. Now I managed to keep the Lucky Bell this time, but that still doesn't matter. You can use the cut to climb up the suit, or just continue destroying ant troopers until you feel comfortable. You're supposed to jump on them and then wall jump, but hey, without ant troopers, you're good. Now the piranha jump. You'll just have to jump on the piranhas. Or if you have the cat suit, just cheese it. The wire section isn't really much of a challenge, at least for me. Just swim near the end or the front of the water bubble, and you'll be good. Let's see what Mario's doing right here. Just keep on swimming at the front. Spike problems, they're easy to avoid, it, and you swim faster on a horizontal scale than this water thing moves. Spam A to go upwards, and just do it all over again. Of course, no rush. Next, you want to go inside the pipe. You might want to ground pound so the spike block doesn't get you, but it's a little bit hidden underwater. Good job making it this far. Switch back to Tanuki Mario, since this is one of the harder parts. You will move very fast here, so be careful. It's hard, but be brave, and you'll be good. 
Mickey Suit allows you extra aerial mobility, which allows you to time your jump so you don't accidentally hit any of those lasers. Now with the circular beams in your path, all you have to do is collect all five key coins. Now this Mickey Suit helps you time it. It's gonna get damaged a little, but try to collect as many key coins as you can before you take damage, because then you lose your Mickey ability. Done, go in the warp box, and you did it! Now, if you're speed running or short on time, you can actually run over the pipes and they'll save you a good amount of seconds. Although, it is recommended if it's your first time playing that you don't. And that's why.